Hello everyone, Gazatron30 here, and welcome to my tutorial on how to use a shaft in Tanky Online. If you're just starting out, I suggest you get the shaft as soon as you have the crystals and the rank to do it, as it will help you to rank quickly because you can one-shot pretty much any tank. I use lead paint because it protects against shafts, and, well, so if you're sniping, someone's going to snipe at you. The shaft on the other team. Now, it's a um, shaft can be used with pretty much any hall. I use a Viking, a Dictator, but um, I'll show you what it looks like here on each of those. But the classic hull to use with the shaft is the Mammoth because it's durable and will keep you from getting one hit by other people. I use an M1, mostly out of preference which hull you use, but you can use all of them because, but it, I think it's best to use a big one so you can stay alive longer. Now it's important to find a good place to snipe at people from because that provides a lot of cover for you and watches over an area that a lot of people have to go through. So, oh, go back some traps. Um, oh, grand. Well, to use a shaft, you simply wait until the yellow bar fills up on, on the screen there, and then hold down the space bar. You'll go into the scope mode, and the yellow bar will go down. If it goes down all the way, and your shot will be fully charged. And to fire, you simply release. And if your fully charged shot can take out an M0 Hornet, M1 Hornet, an M1 shaft, even an M0 shaft. Friendly fire is turned off, you can shoot through your teammate and hit the enemy tank. You can also shoot through two enemy tanks at the same time and damage both of them. Now from this spot, you can just wait for people to come up the ramp and then shoot them when they do come up. Oh, oh go box! No way! This is another popular spot to sit. Now, if you see a group of three tanks and there's an Aceta with them, always shoot the Aceta because the Aceta will heal the other tanks. And then if you take out the Aceta, it'll be easier to take out the other tanks. Then you can also shoot the edge of an enemy tank and it'll kill them. So if one's hiding or this one's kind of there, like that, you can uh, shoot the edge of the tank and it'll get rid of him. <laughs> I think I'm gonna follow this guy out. Where is he? Let's go find him. Now you just simply use the arrow keys to move around your scope, so like that, but you can't shoot through there. Now if you're not careful, you can be taken out from behind. Here, I jinxed myself, didn't I? Just like that. So in uh, capture the flag games like this one, the shaft is very useful for protecting the flag as you can watch over it. You can even sit on top of the flag if you have a mammoth and nobody can move you, so you'll be able to take the flag. So this guy. There he goes. Now on top of the wall here is another popular place to snipe from. You always have to be crafty when you're a shaft. Always go where the enemy at least expects you to be. Now this is the map Serpuhov. And I'm using a shaft and a hornet this time. A lot of people use shaft and hornet because it's a lot more mobility. You run a high risk of being killed, but if you see a chance to take the flag, the hornet is going to be useful in that regard. So I'm just going to sit here. This is a this is a decently popular spawn area, and people like to use this little valley here to come up. So I'm just going to sit here and see if anybody comes in here. Now while trying to hit an enemy tank while it's moving, make sure that you keep your turret and your shaft following him. It's easy to use a shaft when you have good reflexes and you're able to pop off the shot. There was a big, gigantic lag spike there, so I just edited it out. Now, people will be damaged, and if you see that they're damaged, it'll be much easier to take them out. You don't even have to use the full, the full char fully charged shot to go after somebody. But if they're partially damaged, oh, he's gonna let that see his open drop fire. Shoot, didn't die. Well, most times when you think you hit an enemy, and you think that they should be dead. You can you can just press the space bar once; it'll fire like a normal gun, and it will also kill them. See, I'm not gonna. Uh, you have to be patient. Crosshairs have to be centered over your enemy for you to hit them. But you need to release the space bar when you're centered on the enemy tank. You need to be very patient. And there's your basic staff tutorial. Base. Well, thanks for watching. Please give this video a like on YouTube. Well, the shaft gun is mostly used for defensive purposes and therefore not the best gun for capturing flags. But if you develop skill with the shaft, it will be a lot easier for you to get a lot of points. If any questions or recommendations, leave, me, leave them in the comments below and I will get to them.